Ah, uh, yes. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Veterans Minimum. I'm your host, Nick Dayas at the Lamb Show is where you can find me. I'm joined by a special guest, my guy, Jaleel. Courage. <laughs> yeah. What's good, bro? I'm about to say, most people know me as Courage, but yeah, man, it's been... It's been a long time coming, man. It's been Bro, a long I've time. been trying to get your fucking ass on this show <laughs> for like years. Yeah, I would say at least, I would say at least like three years. At least. Yeah, bro. So me and you go way back. We Our, our high schools were actually rivals yeah. back in the day. Yeah, you guys played at the same, you guys played at our field. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That was our home field. So yeah. you, you was at Flushing, I was at Bryant. But uh, we got close after like high school because we started playing football on Sundays together. Yes, sir. And I've been wanting to get you on the show, bro, just because you play the most wild <laughs> version of football. Yo, man, it's 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 so crazy because like every I would say every like at least every week, somebody asks me like somebody asking me about the league like, yo, is this rugby? I'm like, no, man, it's it's this football, it's just seven on seven football. Yeah, man, I love it though, man. It's so fun. So let's so tell the different. Pe- let's tell the people exactly what we're talking about. You play in this seven on seven, no pads, no helmet football league. Yes, sir. And you guys fucking <laughs> bully. Yeah, each other. man. Yeah, man. And the like the talent is, it's very. It's a very. Uh, it's just a, such a different game, man. But it's so fun. A, if people don't know what we're talking about, a seven FL football league. It's the league I play in. Um. You've been featured on Jukes. Yeah, yo, man. This how crazy. so? How, like, how, I, Jukes, I've seen your shit yeah, pop up. Jukes po- posted me, I would say. Like last week, right? I would say probably more recent than that. Maybe like two or three days ago. I would say maybe like Friday. And then from that, like 700, like my phone been going nonstop, man. About people hitting me up like, yo, how do I join this league? Yo, I watch your league. Some guy from like Australia or something. It's crazy, man. So it's it's a it's a big growing league and we just trying to get it like even bigger and bigger. Me and the commissioner got cool over time because you know he makes a lot of my videos. So he's just telling me we got a team. We got a whole league branched off in Florida now. So we're getting big, man. We're getting big. Yo, so what wh- how exactly did this league start? Like what what went behind it because again, like people think we we're fucking around like y'all wear no <laughs> equipment at all. You see, I would say, hmm, I came into the league, I came into the league literally probably like fresh out of high school, but I would say the league started in maybe like 20, like I would say like maybe like 2007, 2008, and it just started from like a bunch of guys like, yo man, let's go play football. The way I was introduced to the league is because every year around Thanksgiving, you know, I have three older brothers, so every year around Thanksgiving, we'll have my brothers will always have like a big turkey ball, but they never allowed me to play because they was playing. My brothers are all grown, so they were playing with grown men, and this is I was still in high school, fifteen, sixteen, and they never allowed me to play until this one time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was probably senior year, senior our high school season was done. Thanksgiving we played, and you know me, man. I showed I showed out a little bit, and they were just like, "Yo, man." We getting a, you know, we getting a, t- we're like trying to really get a team. But this was before like we even knew about the Jersey League. We would just go around just playing like different boroughs, you know, just regular kids, you know, playing boroughs just to play, not for no money or nothing. And then um, just from playing, and I guess like maybe like some research, we seen this league, we seen uh, A7F. Before it was called Town Beef. Mm. It was called Town Beef before. Uh, we seen it. He was like, yo, man, I mean, like, driving to Jersey sucks. But, you know, like, they have. It was 16 teams at the time. That's how crazy it was. And uh, we just joined. A lot of it, a lot of it, we were oh, the only New York team, so everything was a bunch of Jersey, bunch of Jersey kids. It was A lot of it was basically high schools or, like, towns, or certain towns. That, that was the hint of the town beef. But a lot of it was just certain certain high school teams or, like, they all knew each other, or like junior colleges out there. You know, Jersey, they play football all day long. So mm. once we started, man, we kind of loved it. We had a, f- uh, we had a lot of rough years. It was just hard to get people to, you know, just like buy into it. Yeah, like the whole what really messed us up was really just the commute from Jersey to New York. I couldn't really find too many people really willing to do that on Sundays. So, yo, let me ask you, because I got a lot of questions. Like I said, I've been trying to have this conversation with you for a while. 
is it is it weird to think that it might be safer without pads and helmets? Do you feel that way? You know what's crazy? Because I have a theory I could, behind that. I could honestly say uh, yes. It's like uh, it's weird because it's like yes and no. But I would I would say yes because in this league I play like I don't know like playing with pads even though it's been a pretty long time for me. But it just it was just really a much different mindset. The way I, like when I play with pads than the way I play in this league. It may look like I don't care, but <laughs> in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking like I don't have a helmet on, so I have to, you know, take it easy a little bit. It's Not actually, lead with your yeah, head. yeah, of course. And it's it's so crazy because it's it's been maybe nine years now. I think I've been playing in the league, and I haven't really seen. Too many crazy injuries. So I feel like everybody has that mindset where, like, yeah, I'm going to, like, give it my all, but I still know that the only protection I might have is a sweatshirt, whereas to, like, I have shoulder pads or something like that. And I would say the commissioner did a pretty good job on enforcing the rules hmm. where to make it a little bit safer. So what kind of rules are in place to, to make it safer? Well, you're not allowed, like, one of the one of the best rules, I would say, you're not allowed to, like, dive at somebody's you're not allowed to dive at anybody like below i would say below the thighs without wrapping up if you do that's a 15 yard penalty if you do it again you get you know you get kicked from the game for a quarter um that's one um i'm sure uh, hits to the head too is probably out yeah of course um it's just more so uh we try to enforce wrapping up form tackling wrapping up we still you know you still get your your hard hits and stuff but that's one thing we try to enforce the most is, like, if you are going for a big hit, you have to at least try to give an impression because you can't, you know, if you run and you hit somebody super hard, as long as you're making it, you know, the impression on you, you're trying to wrap up. Um, You know, one time I went, because uh, when did you graduate from high school? You're 2011, right? Yeah, 2011. Yeah, so, I'm, bro, that's coming up on 10 years you've been out of high school. <laughs> Yo, it's scary, man. Yo, I had my 10-year, I had my 10-year two years ago. And then I went to a reunion last year because, like, some shit went down where we didn't have the 10 years. So we did, like, an 11 year, I guess. And, bro, I felt like, <laughs> what the fuck, Yo, son? It's man. been so long. It goes fast. And especially for me, I had a terrible senior year, man. Oh, my gosh. Senior year went. I only played three games my high school senior year. It was just. What happened? You got hurt? No. So this is how I went. So um, every year we went to camp in the summertime. So, so senior year camp, you know, we're seniors, so. We went so we were somewhere in like upstate. Coaches like somebody got hurt, like a uh, concussion or something like that. So our coaches took them to the hospital. But the hospital upstate is probably like forty five minutes around, uh, away. All the seniors, we like, yo, man. Yo, let's take they had the golf carts, our coaches. They used to always drive the golf carts out to our field. I have an idea where this is going. <laughs> Marshawn Lynch. Yo, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, yo, we was going crazy, man. It was so much. Just driving around. All the scenes, though, bullying, bullying, you know, bullying uh, the lower classmen. Uh, and unfortunately, we got caught. <laughs> mm. So it was it was a lot. Me, my quarterback, and uh, maybe like our starting DN or something. Coach made us push. <laughs> our coach made us push his car. I would say like from here to like maybe like the end of Dittmar's. That's like a mile and a half. For <laughs> yeah, those for the that people, are from yeah, the exactly. Yeah, yeah. So he made us do that. Once we finished, once we pushed it, coach was like, "Yo, practice is in thirty minutes. Don't be late. If you're late, you're not playing the first few games." So that's how I went, and it was just like, "It's not that I could do, man." <laughs> we couldn't make it back, so our coach he suspended us first two games. The third game of the season, I come back. It's a Friday night game. This is like the first Friday game in probably like Flushing history. Friday night game. Who are we playing? I would say we're playing Clinton. Clinton at our home field. Fight breaks out. Oh. Fight breaks out. Maybe like the third quarter. So happened like the PSAL commissioner. I think there. I remember seeing this. PSAL commissioner is there. I coach just telling him, he's like, yo, it just so happens like, like you guys are a bunch of idiots. Like if the commissioner wasn't there, the guys would have let us. He would have let us, uh, the rest would have let us continue the game. But because the commission is here, game is canceled. We had to forfeit. We forfeited that game. And then I believe our next two, I played, play one game. 
play another game. Now we're in playoffs. Oh man, this is the week before playoffs. Senior year, my 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 school didn't care about me. And senior year, I started at seven o'clock in the morning. So senior year, I had uh, I had gym. I had gym at seven in the morning, and they didn't like the football team very much. So I didn't really, I never really showed up for gym because it's like yo, senior year, man, the gym. I'm like, come on, I don't need this. That Friday, game is Saturday. So that Friday before, before our playoff game against who were we playing? We were playing Curtis. Mm. First round, Curtis at their field. Oh, I was so hyped because Curtis. Little, that's where, isn't that where uh, Curtis Samuel went to also, or was that Rasmus? Curtis Samuel went to Ra- da- Dominic Easley. He went to right. He went to Curtis because uh, I always on the pod in the past, like I always show love to dudes that. Play oh yeah, yeah, yo, you have public to. school athletic league. That's the league that Jaleel and I played in. Yo, man. So I would say. So Friday, that Friday evening, I come into school, you know, regular time. I came in probably like 9 o'clock. The gym teacher's like, hey, I want to come talk to you. Come to my office. Let me talk to you. She was like, yo, um, you haven't really been showing up to my class. So because of that, you can't play Saturday. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like, what, do you, what, what do you mean I can't? I'm like, nah, man. Is there anything... Like, I can do. She's like, no, your name is already. Yo, my name was on an inact, like, the, I guess you would call it, like, the inactive list mm-hmm. on PSAL.com before 12 o'clock. So, I guess she already had this planned. That I would honestly say that was probably, like, one of the worst days of my life. Because I didn't, from probably, like, 10 o'clock when she told me the news to, like, 8 o'clock when I practiced was over. I just spent crying all day long. Crying all day long. Uh, it was just like I'm begging my coach, like, "Yo, man, can I put on another jersey? Like, I wear ma-. like I at this point, I'm dude, I'm acting like, yo, I will do anything to play." And they're like, "No, they're sorry, it's already Friday after three o'clock. Once your name is on his list, the only way your name will be taken off is if you guys win in advance. And Monday morning, we could pull you off." So Saturday morning, wake up. I was so like, just so done. I wasn't even going to go to the game, but I ended up showing up. I, and it was just so hard to watch them just crying, 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 and we end up losing. And that's really how my senior year. Well, I wouldn't say it ended like that. My senior year ended, so we lost, unfortunately. And we had an all star game. And uh for Gazy Bowl, right? Yeah. So I was like, nah, man. Like I absolutely have, yo, you're, I have, yo, I have to show out. This. I, I got a I got a great story about your coach. That's a oh, legend. I love that guy, man. The Sanders, right? Yeah, he, unfortunately he's not. He's not there anymore for some Bro, so check this reason. out. I go to the Fugazi Bowl. The Fugazi Bowl is Staten Island versus Queens. Mm-hmm. It's all the best players from whether you're in the the A division or the C division or like the ones and fives. So like the better teams were fives. The worst teams were ones. And uh, we were a three my senior year. And bro, I go over there and I go as a quarterback and a kicker. Mm-hmm. So I go and I do the quarterback drills in the, like the first uh, day or two, and like I'm doing pretty well, and because I know a lot of the guys, yeah, I know the guys course. from like Jamaica from your school too, yeah. Because I think it was only me and my buddy Bosco who ended up going. He was like our left guard, and they call specialists at the end of Tuesday. Okay. So like, bro, maybe like sixteen kids went as specialists. Like I'm talking about like kickers and punters. Oh wow! Your coach goes. <laughs> Where's the owl kid at? <laughs> and I put my hand up. He goes, yo. He's like, Nick, sorry, fellas. No tryouts. There's, there's our kicker. And no. I was, bro, I was, listen, my head, is, my head is big already. Of course. I that's big head, like, son. I felt like exploded. it was dangling down to my ankle. I was like, I'm a fucking man now. I was no, so that's, gassed. That's, yo, man. And, and then I told him after. I was like, yo, that meant a lot to me. He's like, bro, you're the best kicker that I've seen in like the last decade in the PSL. He's like, good luck on anything. And he's like, yo, if you need a reference or whatever. I was like, yo, I'm going to Buffalo State D3. He's like, yo, you should be at a D1 school. I was like... You know the knock was we didn't we ain't really kick field goals. Yeah, of course. You know, not. like I, I went I went five for five in field goals in my high school career, but like my longest was a forty one yarder. Everything else was like twenty twenty five. Yeah. yeah, like bullshit like that. But my my kickoffs are always touchbacks, touchbacks. Oh yeah, okay. <clears throat> now that's fire, man. I love that guy. So, dude, I want to go back to why I even brought this all up because my old going back to your shit with the with the wrapping up, my old defensive coordinator. Coach Hernandez, I asked him one time, I'm like, yo, what do you think has changed between like 2005 recruiting and like 2015? He goes, yo, no one knows how to tackle anymore. Yo, man. Everybody. Oh, my God. <clears throat> but if you think about it, bro, when you put your highlight tape together, 
What hit are you putting on there? You're not putting up the textbook rap. No, not at all. To the right. You're putting up the shit where it's like <laughs> car collision. Bro, my you're yeah. leaning with your shoulder probably. Yeah, yeah the, the kid, the kid laid out with yeah. the ball. That's the hits that you're putting. So there's the wow factor and the boom factor, dude. One hundred percent. My senior year, I was the starting highlight tape for like six kids on South <laughs> Carolina. You Yo, remember the that, song? Here comes the boom. Yeah, oh that, my that was, god. I started like, bro. I started like six people's <laughs> highlight tape. No, and, that's I, and I found out about this because my senior year we played no my junior year we played John Adams at their homecoming game and we beat the shit out of them we beat them like 30 nothing and that's the most fans I ever played in front of like okay you ever played at John Adams they had like that crazy had, they had the they have the the bleachers were up big, high yeah and that shit was packed bro that's fire packed to like I remember when we pulled up off the bus I was like damn son I never played in these many in front of all these people and we like silence them, but then the next week we played them in the playoffs, and they beat us in the playoffs. Oh, damn! That so sucks. Fra- my buddy Frankie, his college roommate at New Haven, was the corner for John Adams. For John Adams, and he he had a pick on me, but then I also burned him <laughs> like you a fade. But he told Frankie, he's like, "Yo, you're, he's like your boy Nick. You know, he was like five of our guys <laughs> started. I like that. I was like, "Yo, I'm sick. No, that's bro. hilarious, that's man. But yo, like going back to what you said about the whole." tackling yeah. shit like wrapping up they don't want to see that shit you know it's crazy if you if you watch an nfl game even the tackling at that level is kind of poor and i just feel like because it's just not something that's really worked on that much to mm. be honest nfl has gone i wouldn't say it gone soft but they don't practice that much and i almost guaranteed 100 percent sure like a coach is not teaching a grown adult how to you know how to at that point you just yeah like, just bro, like, you know what you're doing. yeah you should know how to tackle but it's like yo you watch an NFL game you just like yo like what are, what are these guys doing man so like that's one thing in our league we try to harp on a lot it's like yo you have to wrap up head should be up and you should be wrapping up like that's one thing we kind of preach because I, I as, as we talk more about this conversation I think like. The difference between no pads and pads is so crazy because you feel so protected when you're wearing pads. So you're like, yo, look, if I'm a safety and I'm coming down on a running back, like I'm gonna just throw my body at him because I know I got a helmet, I know I got pads. Like, yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get beat up too. Whereas there gotta be a hesitation. Is there, I mean, you're the one that plays. So uh, when see, you run, when you're about to run through a hole and you got like two guys there, like what goes through your mind when you don't got the pads on? Ah, you see, with me and my mindset, I'm not gonna lie. Before, like before, whenever I'm in the backfield and they call and they call it a run play, before, before the players call, I just have so many thoughts. Like I, right, I know, like I know such and such is he's pretty good, so you know I might have to bounce this out. But I can honestly say, once I touch the ball, man, my body completely takes over, and it is just, I don't know, I just be so locked in. But I would say, ah, you might not if if. If somebody out there looked at my highlights, in my mindset, I try to be a, p- a finesse player in this league just because, like, you know, I'm not really trying to be hurt. You know, this is not – we get paid, but, you know, this is not a job. You know, I still have to work the next mm-hmm. day. So, in my mind, I'm trying to be a finesse player, but it's just like, you know, some a, a flitch just whips, uh, switches on in my head, and then it's just like, you know, it just – savagery all <laughs> comes out, man. I can't help it. But I would say – when I first started the league, I used to play both ways, and that that trying to hit somebody hard is never like never popped in mind. It's all form tackling. Like even um uh, even if I'm playing offense, like we have a crackback, we still have that in this league. Me personally, I don't like that because it's just like yo, like they don't pay us enough to be cracking back each other mm, with yeah, no pads. Yeah. It's on. unnecessary. So yeah, so so for me, I wouldn't like. I would never. I would never. I'll just set a pick like I'm playing in, you know, our yeah, Sunday league yeah, yeah. or something. But I'll, I'll say boo before I actually, you know, try to hit somebody without looking. But I would say like when I was playing defense, it was always like you know wrap up, you know hips break down, move the head and try to make a form tackle. I would say that. 